need a jumper. We need a jumper. <laughs> Aujourd'hui, en fait, ce qu'on a, c'est euh, la rencontre de deux cultures, la culture du cirque et la culture des sports extrêmes. I'm Noah Bowman. I'm a freestyle skier on the Canadian Halfpipe Ski Team. So we'll be in the safety lines at first. It will feel a little long, but once we start to get out of the lines a bit more, we'll be able to just kind of go one after another and pick it up a bit. My name is Mike Riddle. I'm a member of the Canadian Halfpipe Ski Team, and we are here in Montreal training with Cirque du Soleil, trying out the Russian swing. It's pretty wild. The Russian Swing, en fait, c'est une pièce traditionnelle dans le, le, le cirque traditionnel. Et on l'a utilisé, nous, en, en particulier, le, dans le spectacle comme Saltem Mankoku, par exemple, à O. On l'a toujours maintenu dans un répertoire d'exécution que j'appellerais classique. On a des, des skieurs acrobatiques de, de half-pipe et de slope style avec des snowboarders également. Donc l'idée, c'est de prendre ce type de profil d'acrobate-là, les mettre sur une balançoire russe, qui est vraiment un appareil cirque, voir de quelle façon que vont utiliser cet appareil là. We kind of teach them the very basic of it to make sure we are safe on it and we jumped into the pit. So the landing is a big part. We have to keep the flips very straight, but once we can figure that out, then we can go out of lounge and they can figure out their off access skills. There's a parallel for us because of the transition component. Yeah. I'm pretty impressed with these guys so far. It's been a fun afternoon. Uh, we've actually exceeded my expectations for today. I think we want to learn a lot from uh, from the Cirque guys, and I think they want to learn a little bit from us. So, ça pourrait amener nos entraîneurs et nos propres artistes à eux aussi s'aventurer dans un répertoire acrobatique qu'on qu n'a pas euh, exploré. Et puis, en contrepartie, euh, les gens du sport extrême aussi voient un bénéfice pour utiliser une pièce d'équipement qu'ils n'utilisent pas, entre autres pour bénéficier à leur entraînement. We got into it pretty quick and got forward takeoff, backward takeoff, and then got into some of our ski tricks. Forward gainer switch backward and switch gainer, that's going to be like mileage, 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 yeah. but it could be done. As soon as two people got on there, it started going a lot bigger, and it's definitely a good time. The guys that ride pipe caught it very quickly. We weren't sure if we'd be able to max it out, and we've gotten pretty close. You can really push them much more, my problem is the landing, you know, it's becoming very risky if you go more than 8 to 10 meters. We've kind of reached about the maximum, I feel, of what we can achieve in this space. That's the next step with these guys, you know, we need to be moving into a water environment where we're going to be able to push these guys as far as they want to. That's going to be cool. That's going to be, be really cool. Yeah. Yeah.